guys, welcome back. It's Shelby and today I am transforming a Halloween decoration into a Christmas decoration. I bought this at the store during Halloween. It's like these crow's wings and I didn't even actually really like it but immediately when I saw it I knew that I would want it for Christmas. I'm going to turn it into like angel wings. So basically we're just going to paint it white and gold um, but I think it'll turn out really well and I think I'll really like it when it's done. You can see the texture on there so they're like these feathery textures and it's kind of heart shaped so I mean even though it's black it doesn't really fit the whole Halloween theme I think that's kind of what bugged me about it is it's like disjointed almost even though they're crow wings I mean you can't just paint something black and call it Halloween um, but it does totally look like angel wings to me you know in a different color um, and it's heart shaped so I think that's cool so I'm gonna make it like this cute little uh, dish for the holidays it's not really a candy dish I don't think you can put food in it as far as like because I'm going to be using paint that I don't think is food safe um, but you could put like wrapped candies in there or like little trinkets or something I think it's gonna turn out great I'm really excited for it but I'll link everything you need everything I use down in the description as always along with my socials and let's get going okay so I put down some paper so that I don't get my table all schmucky I'm going to be using just white acrylic paint and paintbrush and basically just go to town on it we're just changing its colors I'm going to be painting the inside first because it's concave and the back is flat. So if I paint the back and then flip it over, I'm going to mess it up. Whereas the inside can dry while I'm painting the back. So yeah, just kind of put some paint in there. Go crazy. So really the only technique that I'm trying to do here is cover a lot of the surface and then get in between all of the feathers so that I don't just have like a gloop like this when it dries. That I still have that feather shape because that's what attracted me to this piece to begin with. And I'll probably need a second coat. Acrylic paint isn't, I mean it is opaque, but it's not like super duper duper opaque and there's no primer or anything on here. So I'm gonna use coat number one as my primer and coat number two as the actual paint coat itself, although this is actually doing a pretty good job of covering everything. You can still see some of the black is poking through a little bit. Also, I'm purposefully kind of brushing it out a little bit thinner because right here, like that's a gloop. I don't want that, so I want it brushed thin so you can see all of the feather strokes underneath. And now that everything's white and covered inside, I'm basically just gonna go in and paint out any of those gloops. So I'm just kind of scraping it all out a little bit. You can see I put in way too much paint, but that's okay. There's a lot of that. So I'm just going to start painting it onto the outside so that when I flip it over, I still have paint to work with. There we go. Let that dry and we'll flip it over and get a coat on the back. So here's where we're at right now. I just painted the bottom, you saw that. A little bit of the black is still peeking through, so I'm just going to do a second coat and let that dry. And for the last bit that's gonna make it super awesome, I'm taking my gold paint and one of these foam brushes. And basically what I'm going to be doing is just painting the very top parts of the feathers, just the parts that are elevated and exposed. So I'm putting a little bit of paint on my foam brush and tapping it in with my finger so that I'm not like painting stripes or anything and fully saturating it the way I did with the brush. I'm just lightly running it over the tops of the feathers, just the parts that push up. So it's not painting the whole thing gold. Um, it's just literally like the tiniest bit being run over the top of it. And then um, when the brush is almost dry, then going back in over all the feathers. And you can see it creates this gorgeous texture where it's just like a little bit of gold reflecting, almost like the edges of the feathers are gilded or like reflect a light in a really cool way, but that they're not made of gold feathers, that they're definitely white feathers with just like a little bit of gold. And you can see I got a little bit much there, but if you just keep um, hitting it with the foam like that, it's going to buff out a little bit. The paint's pretty thin, so that's awesome. It's actually turned out really well. And if you get a lot on the brush, that's fine. Just tap it in and then just, yeah, lightly, lightly, lightly go over all of the feathers until you have the desired amount of gold. If for whatever reason you put too much on there, flip the foam brush over and rub it off. But yeah, look at this. Look at this texture it's making. Oh, that's so beautiful. All right, guys, so here's how it turned out. So pretty. 
So um, mainly I just used a matte white paint, as you saw, so that all of the feathers are white. But then the kind of gilded edges really adds um, a special touch, I think. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with this. I think this is the coolest thing ever. Definitely vastly superior to what it was as a Halloween decoration because that just didn't even work. But look, it's heart-shaped angel wings. That's so perfect, so cute. Can't wait to put this out and add this to my decoration. I uh, hope you liked it. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. I'll link everything you need down in the description along with my socials. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram if you want to see kind of what I'm up to when I'm not filming. And um, yeah, I hope you have a great happy holidays. I'll put some pictures at the end and I hope to see you soon. Bye.